Afternoon guys, Mark O'Hare here from Sporting Bet, so this is We Love Betting. Um, Football League Chapter 2, I'm on my own because Chris Graham's ill this week. Um, two out of three last weekend on the Football League, uh, had QPR Middlesbrough to be a nil-nil half-time score. So quite aggrieved not to not to get the full house, should have gone for the half-time draw. It was 1-1 at half-time, QPR and on to win 3-1. Uh, so two winners from three last weekend. Uh, I've got a pick from the Championship and two from the League One this weekend. Nothing from League Two. Uh, Ipswich Forest, the first game which catches my eye. Um, I go back to August now and I put Ipswich up for promotion. Uh, they finished last season very strongly under Mick McCarthy, a manager who I rate and um, <clears throat> I'd personally like to see in charge of my own team. Uh, he's always well organised, gets his team was working very hard. Uh, they've taken a while to get up through the gears, but just two points adrift of a playoff place now, so keeping that dream alive for me. Uh, a superb 2 0 away win at Brighton last weekend, uh, followed up by uh, a come from behind stoppage time winner against Derby on Tuesday night. 2 1 win. Um, <clears throat> that made it four wins from six, including three clean sheets in that spell for the Tractor Boys. Their home record is winning 10, drawing four, losing five. Uh, take out results against the top five and they've won nine, drawn four, lost one at home. Uh, four wins from six at Portman Road now two, which is quite encouraging. John Williams is coming to the end of his loan spell. This will be his last game. He's made a very positive impact when you consider David McGoldrick is out for the season for Ipswich two. Um, and I think it's six to five. They're a definite bet this weekend. They're playing Nottingham Forest. Uh, a very rough week for Forest indeed. We Billy getting the axe and... Um, Results haven't been good for Forrest, that's, that's that's fair to say, but slightly harsh to sack him based on results only. I don't think it was just results. I'm a big Billy fan, but his behaviour this season left uh, a lot to be desired. Very baffling at times, and so it wasn't too big a surprise to see him go. Uh, did feel a little bit sorry for him, though, because of the injuries he's had to deal with. Um, you think of their standout players this season, uh, Andy Reid, Henry Lansbury, Jack Hobbs. Uh, they're all out missing, as well as Cohen, Vaughan, uh, Wilson as well. Just picked up two points from a possible 21 now. Failed to score in four of the last five, including matches against Barnsley, Doncaster and Charlton. Uh, very worrying if you're a Forest fan. Personally back Charlton, double chance at Forest in midweek. Uh, it banked nicely. Um, so I'll be back in Ipswich this weekend at 6-5 to five, uh, because I can't see Forest turning that form around at Portman Road. Uh, moving down to League One then. Uh, we'll start with MK Dons and Wolves. And I put Wolves up at odds on, sorry, odds against away from home. Um, not so long ago on what you like betting's football league chapter, uh, it paid, and I'm going to do the same here because they're taking an absolutely huge following away with them to to MK Dons. Uh, they've won 11 of the last 13 after beating Colchester 4-2 on Tuesday night. That includes nine clean sheets in that spell. They've won 11 of their 18 games in League One this season, but more recently they've won five of the last six, including four clean sheets on the road. Um, it looks like a matter of, of when, not if, they're going to get promotion and if they're going to be champions or not um, this season. Uh, as for MK Dons, they seem to be doing their utmost to, to blow every single chance they get of, of penetrating that top six because Peterborough keep faltering and so the Dons, to be honest, they've lost two of the last three now, lost four of the last eight further back and I'm just really wondering when the uh, the media darling of Carl Robinson is, is finally going to die on a sword and, and be account held accountable for these results and, and sloppy finishes for MK Dons. The home record has been very poor this season, uh, only won 8 of 19, which is hardly impressive for a side chasing the top six. They're yet to play a top three side at home too. Uh, they've won one, drawn one, lost four in the last six at home, failed to net in five, including the last four. Colchester, Tramier, Gilliam, Posh and Preston uh, have all nilled them at uh, Stadium MK. And they only managed three shots on target against Gillingham at home on Tuesday night. Very, very poor, despite Robinson claiming it was an excellent display. Uh, they've only kept two clean sheets in 16. I think they'll be overpowered and didn't get Wolves at 11-10 to 10 for that match. So a nice punt there. And I'm finishing off with a bit of a longer shot. Um, it's a 9-4 to four play uh, in the game between Tramier and Carlisle. A uh, huge match for both teams, uh, fighting relegation there. They're actually level on points and goal difference. Uh, and towards the bottom of League One, um, Tramier uh, a place above them, a place outside of the drop zone because of their superior goal scored record. And I think you've got to go for goals again this weekend, um, and lots of them too, because the over three and a half goals here is nine to four, and I think that's a, an excellent play. Tramier have been absolutely brilliant for goals this season. Ten of the last thirteen have seen three or more. 
Uh, 13 of their 19 home games have seen over two and a half as well. They've only kept three clean sheets in 27, yet they've scored in 23 of the last 26. Um, and six of the last eight have seen this bet bank. Six of the last eight have seen over three and a half goals. As for Carlisle, 14 of their 21 uh, most recent matches have gone overs. Um, that's the same as seven of the last nine away from home. Seven of their nine trips to bottom half teams have also seen three goals or more. Um, and all three of their games away to fellow relegation sides have seen over three and a half goals too. I think it's a real must win. Neither side can be def uh, trusted to, to keep the goals out and defend properly. So I think that we should and hopefully will be in for a goal fest and a nice winner at 9-4, to four, we hope. Um, so the three bets rounded off again. Tramir Carlisle over three and a half goals, 9-4. to four. Wolves at 11 to 10 at MK Dons and Ipswich at 6 to 5 at home to Nottingham Forest. Hopefully, we'll get a 3 out of 3, and I'll see you all next week, hopefully, with a fully fit Chris Graham. Thanks.